yeah, it was so nice having uh, Hans with us. And uh, yeah, this uh, Jobaba London, I remember his game against Duda from Airthings Masters. Then, uh, I mean, I think uh, th that was some, some incredible game there. Uh, he, he got a very good position right from the beginning. And then I did not know yet, you know, that there is a plot. Yeah, that uh, of course some uh, lifetime repertoires on, uh, on Chessable are getting uh, ready by, by Hans. I just thought it's some random idea. But now I understand everything. Yeah, well, when Baro Jabbar, we should say that this is named after the, the Georgian player Baro Jabbar, who played it for quite a few years. He was the pioneer. And it really was, well, quite, quite a, a new system uh, because White had always played with uh, Bishop G5, the, the, the old Verisol system. But, but the way Baro played it, well, he was a real pioneer. In fact, I still remember a fantastic game that Bardo played in the Baku Olympiad, where Bardo had an against Ponomaryov, yeah? Against Ponomaryov. Yes. Well remembered, Peter. I mean, this was a brilliant game, um, where Bardo just produced an attack from kind of nowhere and, and won, well, a really special game, actually. And Bardo was on fire in, in Baku, actually. In the Olympia, but yeah, well remembered. I, that, that's the game that always comes to my mind when I think of the Jabbar London system. So, well, and it's been developed since then, of course. Yeah, I think that was an incredible advertisement for for the opening. I mean, I don't really had any respect for this D4 Knight system before that game, and after seeing that, I said, okay, hang on, you know, we have to start making some serious preparation against this. You just can't take it so lightly. Ponomayo with incredible player get uh, crushed like that. Yeah, I mean, what was interesting was that, yeah, I mean, Pono, incredibly strong, but Bardo uh, somehow completely uh, yeah, outfoxed him in, in that game. And, well, I would recommend that game to, to anyone to have a look at. So it's Jabava against Ponomayo from the Barco Olympiad in 2016. Yeah, golly, it's, I, had to, I had to remember what the date was. <laughs> were you, were you, were in, you must have been in Baku. No, no, I didn't play in Baku. Yeah, oh, that, you didn't play in Baku? Oh. Yeah, I, I didn't play in Baku. Well, me neither, I was just reporting, but uh, it, was, it, it was a very enjoyable event, actually. So, yeah. let's... Yeah, but let's here, here you know, what, what I'm really loving from, from Dingler and Hans has mentioned this already, that...
and Black would be out of trouble. So, oh, Magnus, I don't think there's a way forward for him. I think Ding has found the only way to save the draw. Imagine that, he had two seconds on his clock a few moves ago. He's finding the best moves, and that's how good he is. That's why everyone wants to see him in the candidates tournament, because he can fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with Magnus. He, and he's surviving these really treacherous positions. Okay, what is there left for Magnus? The problem is the Black Queen is coming to deliver some checks. Okay, there's no check for... Okay, th huge threat on the board now. Yeah. White is now threatening to push the pawn. That would be a discovered check. Look on the seventh rank, the White Queen and King, and the Black King lined up. So Black either has to move his King, which looks really scary, or you have to give a check. You six can. seconds. He can. Six seconds. Well, maybe he can start checking now, and he moves his King, and... Wow. Okay, and the computer has... Uh, oh, look at the bar! Yeah. <gasps> Magnus, ah, he's retreated his queen. Okay, he stopped any checks. This is so clever. And now, I was thought the position was about to repeat itself, but White's queen's actually on a better square than she previously was. Can she just go and capture the pawn now in front of the White King? Yes, she can. Now, White is suddenly winning. I was just praising Ding, but Magnus found a trick. Ding just panicked with no time in his block. He lost two moves, and now there's no checks. White's pawn is going to decide this game. And uh, White has a huge threat on the board. He's going to step back on the diagonal with the queen and offer a trade of queens. And the king cannot catch the pawn. So... The queen had to run away from any potential trades, but now Magnus, if he's super clever, I think he might be able to... Can you not just move the queen oh, one yeah. step to the right? Yeah, you're right. You're completely correct there. Ding, realising White has a winning move. Just slides the queen across. He's done it. Yeah, supporting that white pawn indirectly. Black can no longer hold the fortress. White sea pawn is about to make another queen. And make uh, that move with one second, but this is just see, one check. No more checks. It. The king is hiding away, but uh, that's it. A second queen is going to come, and Ding has resigned. Magnus has won. Wow, what a game! Huge time trouble for Ding Liren in the middle.